Hey guys, so it's day two. I have made my way back. We have recovered the tripod, sort of ish. Uh, Matt, Matt is most definitely man of the day. But none of that matters because I've come to my first interview of the day and it is a really good one actually. This is Mushroom 11. Uh, tell me a little bit about what Mushroom 11 is all about. Uh, well, Mushroom 11, it's a, a puzzle platformer. Uh, where you're guiding this uh, amorphous blob over uh, a broken landscape and there's a series of puzzles and challenges and uh, the mechanics, uh, the, the mushroom mechanics are really unique in this game uh, where you just sort of mold it into a little bit of a freeform kind of play. So it's, it's a really simple mechanic actually, the, the pushing the whole uh, blob along. Right. But it's, it's surprisingly complex because of the puzzles that you've set out. Um, right. So, as you take away from the blob, more is added on elsewhere, and it's all about guiding it around. What kind of puzzles right. can we expect from this? Oh, well, uh, I mean, you, you have some uh, traditional platformer puzzles. You know, they're like ledges and, and, and uh, you know, elevator lifts going up and down that you might expect. Uh, and, you, you know, you're approaching it in an entirely new way because of these mechanics. Um, farther on, you know, they, uh, as the levels progress, they get much more complex. There's, there's things like... Uh, I don't know, steam and, and things like that, that uh, you, you had to uh, uh, work to your advantage, you know, using the mechanics of the, the mushroom. Um, so yeah, they just get crazier and crazier, bigger and bigger. So with this sort of simple mechanic, we've still got things like in the demo I played uh, against a big boss flower uh, right. that's throwing fireballs everywhere, and it genuinely gets stressful. Is that something that uh, carries on? And please don't tell me it gets worse. <laughs> um, well, maybe it's how you want to approach it, you know, and, and sometimes uh, it can have sort of a, a zen quality to it where you're just moving uh, the mushroom yeah. around. Uh, uh, yeah, it can, it can get stressful at times, I guess. Uh, some, some of the puzzles uh, aren't so much, uh, you know, timing and action oriented, but a lot more thought oriented. Some of the puzzles do have a bit of a, a rush to them, though, that you, you have to yeah. get yourself moving. With the fireballs especially, I felt I wanted to move fast, like I, I right. wanted to go. Um, yeah. it, it was it was much better that I was sitting back and I was thinking about, all right, I need to take away this bit and I need to build up this bit. And um, So you've got a nice balance there, something that feels very, I've got to go, I've got to go fast. But you do have to be quite sort of strategic about it. Yeah. The atmosphere of it is actually quite special as well because it's all set in this sort of broken down, almost apocalyptic feeling environment. Right, right. Uh, well, yeah. What's that all about? Uh, well, um, so we're, we're working on the story uh, for the game. Uh, we, we had we had the mushroom. That's where it started, or the, this blob thing. And we thought, well, this is really you know a cool thing. Let's how do we focus on that and sort of describe a world around it, uh, and how do we relate it to to people, to us? And it just seemed like a natural fit to have this uh, you know uh, a world, a civilization that's that's gone by the wayside. Something terrible has happened. And, uh, you know, we kind of wanted to drop clues, uh, nothing in your face, but just to maybe uh, give people a little breadcrumb trail in the background of how they could link this uh, ruined civilization to the mushroom um, without really giving away too much. Okay, okay. So, uh, visually, it's got a couple of surprises in it. I mean, I didn't expect the big fire flower boss fight. That, that was a little bit terrifying. Um, but the, how is the sound design? Um, what, what are you guys doing with the sound for this? Uh, well, we, uh, we're working with uh, Power Up Audio. They're based out of Vancouver. And, um, you know, right now they're busy uh, doing the final touches and all these monsters and, and things like that. Uh, uh, you know, we, of course, we had in our minds, like, what, what all these things could sound like. And, you know, we're always like, saying, oh, it sounds like this, you know, or, you know, uh, you know. Yep. We try to communicate that to the, yep. the audio designers and stuff like that. Yeah. See, I was, I was going to ask you what your favorite sound effect was, but, but is it is it the noise? The, the mushroom? Yeah. Yeah, I I like that. Yeah, I, I think that I think that's the hardest one to get to because it's you know obviously it's so important, but you know it's kind of how do you vision this thing? You know, I always thought of it as like if you took a, a head of cabbage or lettuce and just sort of like <laughs> twisted it, it would make the perfect sound. Yeah. Uh, maybe combined with a little bit of jellyish kind of gooey sound. Uh, you know, it's a really tricky thing to capture, but you know. But, but you, you guys have got it down. You guys have got it down. Yeah, yeah. yeah. yeah Excellent there. news. All right, so if people want to know more about this, if they want to find this, where are you guys in the sort of development scale for this? When is this coming out? Uh, well, we're, we're very close to finishing up. Uh, it's coming out in October. 
Uh, we haven't uh, announced a specific date yet. Um, that will be forthcoming. Yeah. Well, we want. Yeah, we don't want to miss miss that date. But uh, yeah, October. Okay. And uh, you can go to mushroom11.com and learn more about it there. And what platforms are you going to be releasing it on? Uh, we'll be out on Steam, GOG, and uh, Humble Store. Oh, brilliant. For PC, Mac, and Linux. Brilliant. All right. So thank you for spending some time with me. Thank you for showing me Mushroom 11. Uh, although it, it, it is that simple, it is really, really clever. And I can see me wanting to get faster and faster and faster through those levels because they're... Um, they're really good. Guys, oh, if, you, if you are at EGX at the moment, uh, these guys are running a speedrun contest. So you, you runners, I know you're out there. You come down here, and you try and beat my... Well, I, I had 11 minutes. 11 minutes is a bit dire. It's a little bit dire for chapter one, but, but I'm sure you guys can do it a little bit quicker than well, me. You're gonna, you know, keep practicing. Yeah, Enter yeah. the contest. I will, most <laughs> definitely. I'll be down here first thing tomorrow morning. Right, I'm ready. I got this. All right, thank you for spending some time with me. Much, much appreciated. Oh, guys, you. there's plenty more to come today, but uh, thank you for hanging out with me so far, and I'll see you guys on the next one.